Hi dear friends, this is your calendar years and welcome to another session of Jordan series. So today onwards, we are planning to discuss some very important topics for your prelims 2021 from various subjects. So idea behind uh, this discussion is nothing but to improve your fundamentals in all subjects. Here we will discuss only the basic fact related to a particular topic and that will definitely help to mark your correct answer. So without wasting our time, let's discuss our today's topic. So the topic is Indica report and this topic is from history. So from the previous year questions, we know that various movements and also various revolts were the important area for UPC. So let's start. So the Indigo revolt took place in Bengal in 1859 to 60. So here you should focus on the timeline because it is a very important fact for your chronology based questions. So the background of this particular revolt is nothing but in Bengal, the indigo planters, nearly all Europeans, exploited the local peasants and they forced them to grow indigo on their lands. So the planters forced the peasants to take advance sum and enter into contracts which were harmful for the peasants. The farmers were brutally oppressed if they could not pay the rent. So the peasants started their revolt against this exploitation in 1859. The famous play that is uh, Neil Dharpan by Deen Badu Mitra written in 1859 explained the situations of farmers during this time. The other important fact is that this revolt actually led by Dikambar Biswas and Vishnu Biswas. So please note down that because the leaders of various movement again a favorite area of UPC. So they decided not to grow indigo. Next, the core area of this topic is the nature of this particular movement. So this is basically a non-violent movement, but they also set up a counter force against the planters' attacks. So there is a violent element is there, but we can't say that it is a fully violent movement because they gradually learned to use the legal missionaries and initiated legal actions against the planters. The next important area is the response of the planters. So the response from the planters was they also tried methods like evictions and they increased the rents. But the peasants started the rent strike by refusing to pay the enhanced rents and also they physically resisting the attempts to evict them. Another important fact here related to this particular topic is the Bengali intelligentsia played a significant role by supporting the peasants cause through newspaper campaigns etc. So maybe UPC will try to confusing you by reversing the statement like Bengali intelligentsia was against this movement like that. So you should have a proper idea that the Bengali intelligentsia was not against this movement. And also the revolt was backed by the Muslims and the missionaries and the whole of the rural population supported the revolt. The next important fact related to this topic is the response from the government. So here the government appointed an Indigo Commission to examine the problem of Indigo cultivation and they recommended that the riots could not be compelled to grow Indigo and that it would ensure that all disputes were settled by legal means. So this is the fundamental idea regarding the Indigo revolt and you should focus on the time period, leaders of this particular movement and nature of this movement and also the response from the government. So based on this particular topic, let's discuss a moral question. So the question is, consider the following statement regarding Indigo revolt. So the statement number one is, this revolt was largely a non-violent movement and Statement number two is the Bengali intelligence here was totally against this revolt. So here the answer is option A that is one only because we know that this second statement is wrong. So this is for today to jot down and please keep supporting us. Thank you.